now we will start the interesting part real time communication for this we need to use ready server we can also use the channels in memory line channel layer which works only in the development phase but when we go to the production phase we can't use the in memory channel layer we have to use an external server or something like ready server for now go back to our code go to settings.py file and we need to do some new settings this channel layers this channel layers and data we default colon here we have to write the back end for this sorry sorry back end and it uses channels dot layers dot in memory line channel layer but in case of the real server like the production side we have to use something like config we have to give the server hosts the sample server could be this one and the port is 6379 you have to give something like this type of uh, configurations for the production but now we don't need that so i'm just commenting for your future references here we use other servers like ready server because we have to send the real time messages which we cannot do that with our own django server for example a user can open his chat page in multiple browsers and whenever a message receives every browser should receive the message like every web socket connected for that user should given the message event only then messaging app is said that it is a real time messaging app for demonstration purposes we just used the in memory channel layer which is provided by the channel layers by default again i am saying it doesn't work on the production server so be careful on that i simply using the super users i don't want to create a user model so that's why i'm just keeping that part you can use your any user model i'm just creating the users using create super user actually for testing we just need two users so we don't care if he is a super user or any or any user so i also create another user which is rahul yeah we have to do a little bit changes in the messages dot uh, py file first i'll take the current id of the user logged in user dot value if you see in the html page on the top you can see that uh, actually i think i haven't created here i can create an input field and type is hidden and value is user dot id and this should only work when the user is authenticated in our case the chat page should be loaded only if the user is logged in we have to write that uh, logic also we are getting the user id from the login page now i have to do a little bit change in the sending message as where i will send the sent by key and i will send the user id i am sending this information to the backend so that backend will use it and uh, store it somewhere it wanted whenever i ask for the messages of that particular person it can give me that particular mes person's messages so that's it for here so here we got to know uh, the sent by user like who sent the message but we don't know to whom we need to send the message right so here i am creating a send to variable and this is a stupid logic just ignore this for the time being i am just using this send to would be to 
which means uh, if the logged in user is one we need to send it to the user two like it's the id of the user simply i know uh, my first user id would be one and the second user id would be two and else i have to send it to one yeah i'll send this information to the back end send to the send to id right be careful while sending the user ids if you don't send them correctly you won't get the proper results this helps in identifying to which channel we need to broadcast the message later we make it dynamic as i said already for now go to the consumers and inside websocket.connect user equal to self dot scope we can get the logged in user inside the scope variable chat room f colon user self dot chat room let's go to the chat room id and await self dot channel layer to add here we will send the chat room self dot channel name here we are creating a chat room id for the connected user chat room id is a normal string actually but in our case it is unique for all the users this makes it easier to communicate with the multiple users on the same page as we do on whatsapp web we are adding the chat rooms to the channel layer group which means it saves all the web sockets of that particular user and with the same channel name it sends the real time messages to all the web sockets which have been saved earlier we will get the send by id of the user received data dot get sent by and also we get sent by id this would be sent by id and this would be send to id receive data dot get and send to we just give an error message error saying that sorry saying that this is for easy debugging purposes now i have to create new method for this class i use the database sync to async method def get user objects here we are using database sync to async decorator which makes sure that every time we connect to a database the connection is closed properly if we don't use this thing the connection of the database is established but it won't close properly in the sync method this can corrupt our database that's why we use the database sync to async method because we are using async methods everywhere objects dot filter if qs dot exists this would be else and i will return the obj object I'll write sent by user would be and here I'm using the await method as it is an asynchronous function self dot get user objects actually it would be not user object it's an object because we are uh, accessing individual object the sent by user sent by ID. yeah have to write same for the sent to send to user send to id we will handle the errors Yeah, it's done. Now 
I will write the other user chat room. This is the chat room for the other user user chat room underscore. This is the chat room of the other user, like to whom we need to send this message. The self user. We will get the user object here who is logged in right now. And I will also change the message to ID. This is because when we are sending the message to the front end, we need to send the information that who sent this particular message. There are two possibilities when a user sends a message from front end to the back end. We need to send two copies to each of the user. One copy to the logged in user who have sent the message to the back end. The other copy to the person who we have to send that message. This makes sure that every browser is updated. So that's why I am using this send by concept. Now we will call the channel layer which updates all the browsers. Let's add it. Other chat room. The same type here. I am creating a new event json.dumps response. Actually, uh, we can skip this part. I'll just I'll copy this thing. As I said, one copy to the other user chat room and the next copy to the same user chat room, right? Which we will get it from self dot chat room, right? We have saved this chat room when we connect to the WebSocket. This is being used uh, in the receive method. I hope this concept is clear. I have to create a new event. Async def chat message. And here I am sending the message to the WebSocket. If I summarize it in WebSocket receive method, we are receiving the data sent by the front end and checking if the user IDs exist. And other user chat room is the chat room to which the logged in user wants to send the message. And here the self dot channel layer dot group send triggers the event to all the WebSockets which are connected to the chat room, which is given as the argument. If you see here, the first argument is the chat room to which we have to send. And in the second argument, we are specifying which type of event should be triggered for those WebSockets. One copy of the message is sent to the other user and another copy to the self user. As for simplicity, we have separated the send message back to browser. This method, which triggers the event on the WebSocket. Uh, we have to use the decorator database sync to async, which is very important when we want to perform the database operations. As I already said, it ensures that the connection is properly opened and properly closed, which is used to prevent the memory leakage of the database. Now I'll go to HTML page and uh, uh, write a simple h1 tag where I will show this one logged in as like, um, user dot username. Okay, I'm using the simple login. You can use the regular login. So the username is Onka. Yeah, here if I refresh the page, you can see that logged in as Omkar. I will open an incognito tab here with the Rahul user which I have created earlier and open the chat page. If uh, logged in as uh, Rahul and logged in as Omkar. Now I will try to test if I can do the real time chatting with this Rahul from Omkar. Hi. The messages are not properly aligned. Okay, we have some issue here. We'll go to consumers.py. I'll send the message again. Let's see. Yeah. 
ओके ही आई एम गेटिंग अ मैसेज दैट एरर सेंड बाय यूजर इज इन करेक्ट ओके आई एम नॉट गेटिंग द सेंड बाय यूजर सेंड बाय यूजर आईडी इज नॉट गिवन प्रॉपर्ली सो आई विल गो टू पी बाय एंड चेक इफ यूजर आईडी हैज समथिंग इन इट यूजर आईडी के आई एम रियली सॉरी आई हैवेंट गिवन द आईडी ऑफ दैट यूजर दैट्स व्हाई वी आर गेटिंग द एरर and paste it here hopefully this should work now yeah i have refreshed on both the sites when i type hi yeah you can see that the real time message is happening between two different users this the left side is uh, the omkar and the right side is the rahul user how cool is it right yeah i can also write hello okay how are you yeah without refreshing the page we are being able to send the messages to the other person directly so now we are on the right track but if we clearly observe we can see that the messages are not being aligned properly so we have to correct that first so let's go to our javascript function need to update little things here inside our new message function we will also take another argument which is sent by id and uh, we will check a thing need to modify this thing as here we will check if the sent by id equal to equal to the user id which means if the sent by id is same as the logged in user id we have to append it to the right side but in else case we need to append it on the left side you can simply find these elements in the html page for simplicity i am just copy pasting the elements here and we write the dynamic variable like this in the multi line string the message which is being sent from the user go to on message event and here we need to update little things uh, which is and we will send this as the argument this is the simple logic where we are checking the sent by from the received data and appending the message accordingly either it is on the left side or on the right side there's something wrong here i think yeah it is not sent by actually it is sent by it should work fine now this is the rahul page and this is the omkar logged in page i'm refreshing this and i'll send hi rahul so i say hi omkar wow now it's working completely fine now the real time messages are working very fine but one thing is that our messages aren't being saved like when i just refresh the page the messages are being erased so now we will implement this logic in the back end we have to create some models in the chat app and then we will save the messages and show it to the user hope everyone like this video if you really like this video please like share and subscribe if you guys subscribe it would be the best motivation for us to make more videos thank you until then bye bye